this dog is just killing me. I just finished the edit, all my stuff. I'm going outside to, actually we're going to town on a road trip. I just kicked him outside. He hasn't left the deck. He's just standing there watching me put my boots on. I don't understand. He won't go to the bathroom unless I come out with him. So we're going to go get Epsom salt so that I can uh, set up a, a hospital situation and, and treat Disco because she was limping last night and I got a hunch she's limping today. I haven't looked yet. The pen, um, she's locked up in the pen. Actually, all the ducks are. I'm not letting them out until I get back because I've got to catch uh, Disco. But I, today, I have to get the hatcher running. That's my goal today because uh, I'm a little bit freaked out. I just did the final count, guys. Um, the hatcher, it's gonna be freaking packed, man. 722 duck eggs for June the 4th. Um, that's like awesome. Phew. It's like, I'm, 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 it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be, it's like 60 duck eggs per uh, tray. Uh, and, and like I, and I, I'm hoping everything fits. I'm, uh, or I'm gonna be, you know, I, I'm going to be doing um, some eggs in the bottom of the incubator, which I really don't want to do that because the mess they make when they hatch, the fluff, and I, I want to keep the incubator clean. So I'm, I'm hoping I can get all the eggs uh, in the hatcher. That is a big hatch, guys. 722. Like, if we can hit 70%, oh man, that's a lot of eggs. All right, I'm going to just lock the garage here and then uh, we're going to town, Epsom salt, and then we're coming back. Do you want to go in the back of the truck? Oh, you're a crazy dog. Come on, let's go. Let's go get medicine for Disco. Come on. 722 duck eggs. Wow, that's a lot of duck eggs. Oh, Doug, that's just crazy what's coming. Okay, there's a plastic bag on my gate. Oh, it looks like a census reminder. Yeah, it is. I think yesterday I left here in such a rush that I just threw the lock on the gate and didn't realize I put it on backwards. All right, let's go get Disco Duck Medicine. Well, you know, when I was in the uh, pharmacy and I picked this up, I asked why this stuff works. And it turns out, the pharmacist told me what it does is that there are a, just a ton of bacterias that can't handle the Epsom salts when they die. So if bumblefoot is caused by a bacterial infection, that is why it works. Now, if there's something stuck in the foot, if the Epsom salt mixture is strong enough, if you put enough salt in the water, what it does, it draws out fluid out of the, uh, the body and carries out whatever is stuck in the foot of the duck in this case. So that's why it works, guys. Um, I, I had to ask her, I, I thought, you know, get a professional that actually knows this stuff that went to school, you know, and that could explain it. So that's why it works. So we're gonna go and uh, treat poor little disco duck now and uh, come up with some kind of hospital situation for her. I'm still rocking my brain on that one. And by the way, it is freaking nuts in the store. It's like, well, tomorrow they're closed, so like everybody's in there panicking like it's the end of the world today. All right, Dougie, let's go home. Come on, dog. Maybe it's time to go to the bathroom. I don't believe you. I've never had a dog that could hold his bladder as long as you. Let's get some kind of hospital situation set up here for Disco. Actually, there she is. Let's see how she's walking. Oh, she's got a limp. Yeah. I just saw her walk there and she's got a little bit of a, a hop to her. Yeah. Okay, guys. Definitely need this today. And probably for the next four days. Doug. You gotta go to the bathroom, man, not follow me around. I'm being told, guys. Please listen to them. They're one pushy bunch of ducks. 
I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. I'm um, I'm trying to think of the best. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna set the uh, the cage up. I'm thinking I might set the cage up inside the pen. It would be the safest place. I'm just worried about, um, you know, skunks and raccoons. Actually, raccoons, uh, uh, you know, if I put it here, I gotta think of something here. All right, I'm gonna get the, uh, the other dog cage out and uh, come up with some kind of plan here. Stripper's court in the nails, guys. Look at her. She must be getting stronger. Still got a wicked limp. I had a choice of buying two kilograms in a bag or four kilograms in a plastic container. And you're not going to believe why I bought the four kilograms. Because two kilograms is like enough to treat disco. Is I wanted the big plastic bottle. Big bottles like this are excellent for storing things in the garage. So I wanted to get a reuse out of my container. So as far as measuring guys, I, I go by eye. And I, I usually make it a, a, a quite strong um, mixture. And the reason I make it strong is one, if there is something stuck in her foot, I want to draw it out. Um, and you know, hopefully this solves the problem. <laughs> And I want to make it like a warm bath. All right, she's all dissolved. Let's go and catch Disco. Dog still hasn't gone to the bathroom. Out you go, Doug. Let's go. Oh, you're unbelievable, dog. I'm thinking I need more water in this as my lid. Well, to hold the lid down because I think Disco is going to try to blow the lid off. The bucket of water is to put on top of that lid so that she doesn't blow it off. Oh yeah, the poor duck's got a limp. No, back up. Oh, she's trying to get her way out here right now. Oh, you little sneak duck. Now she might not go into the barn for me. Come on, Disco. Into the barn. You're not going to cooperate, are you? Come on, girls. Into the barn. Come on. All right. I got to be careful. I almost stepped on an egg. Doug, you get all excited when I try to herd ducks. Doug, back, back Doug, heel. Oh, you're a good dog this year. I'm so happy to see Stripper, you know, running around like this. All right, let's go treat Disco. Or I should say catcher. There's still ice under there, guys. No, Doug. Back. Back. All right, Disco. Which way are you going to go? I just want you. Are you going to run into the net for me? Come on, girl. Run right into that. It makes it so much easier. Come on. Come on, ducks. 
Alright. There. Oh, disco. Don't fight. Oh, she's fighting again. Oh, what a duck. Alright. I don't want to break any of your feathers here, girl. I just can't believe how big this duck is, guys. Like, she is serious meat. Oh, disco. Okay, I gotta... Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, hang on. There, the ducks can get out of the barn. How's your foot today? Oh! Oh boys, oh, she she felt me trying to turn her to look at her foot and she took a break. Doug, keep, don't rush me like that dog. He gets all excited because I'm holding the duck and it just totally freaks out Disco. I think a lot of it is jealousy. All right, let's see what your foot looks like today. Actually, the... Uh, Lump looks a little smaller today. Unfortunately, are you going to let me feel your foot? Or are you going to fight me? You're going to fight me, aren't you? I can only feel. Okay, there's no rough spot. Yeah, nothing rough. I think you're. I think you just need a little bit of soakings. Okay, duck. Oh, boys, you just got attitude. Okay, okay, look at this. She's hanging on to the edge like a dog that doesn't want to get a bath. Come on. Oh, and you got wicked claws. Okay, come on. Oh, you're not going to cooperate, are you? Okay, duck. It's not like it's the bucket of death. I'm doing you good here, like. Whoa! Okay, talk about it, totally freaked out. Okay. Bucket of water on top. There. There. Okay, we'll let her soak. I'm gonna set my timer. So I'm gonna let her soak for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna put her in that dog cage temporarily because I have an idea. I'm going to uh, configure a small grid cage inside the pen for her. That way she's totally safe at night. I'll just throw some straw down in the bottom and you know uh, just keep throwing straw down to keep it clean for her because I think that's the best way. I just don't like yeah you know, I don't want to put her in a dog cage out here in the unprotected zone and have you know a raccoon come and pull her leg through the cage and you know that just wouldn't be cool. So I'm going to do the water in the yard here and then I got to go have breakfast because I'm really hungry. Actually, I don't believe how hungry I am, but I did start my day early today, guys. 5 a.m. I'm, uh, I'm crazy. And once we get the egg situation uh, figured out and we get the incubator loaded, I'm hoping to open up our surprise package. That's the plan. Well, I thought before I go for breakfast, I'll... Uh, kick this duck outside. Come on, Maddie, you're going out. Oh, you've got an egg under you. Is that yours or somebody else's? I'm thinking it's somebody else's. Hey, ducks, outside. Okay, the, the door's open right behind you. Okay, you're silly ducks. Oh man, there's some days you gotta wonder about them. How'd you go? They were confused on how to get out of the barn. Sorry, but the barn's off limits today. Now Doug's gone missing. I don't see a brown dog anywhere. The duck is coming out of the. They're looking for water. Oh, there's a dog, and he's muddy. Water's drying up. We need rain, bad. 
both creeks have stopped running. Okay, I gotta go have breakfast so that I can survive the rest of the day. 20 minutes. She's done her soak. All right, duck. You're probably really upset at me because I put you in a bucket. Okay, Doug, back. Get back, Doug. I don't know. I think you're a lot of her agitation. All right. Come on, girl. Just cool it. Don't be freaking. We're going to put you in the dog cage for now. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, fight. I'm going to have my breakfast, and then I'll come out and take care of you. All right. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> she really doesn't like Doug. I'm going to come up with a good place for you. Don't worry, Disco. Okay, Doug. Leave Disco alone. Okay, that's bizarre, guys. Okay, Doug, it's a helicopter. Um, she didn't poop in the water. Ducks always poop in the water when you put them in the water. Actually, it's a plane he's barking at. Geese are going for their swim. I'd have to go down there and see, guys, but I'm curious on why, or which, I mean, which three geese always seem to be going for a swim. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh no, we're into the digital zoom. Yeah, which ones are they? They must not be afraid of the Canada geese down at the lake. That looks like the male on the left. A bunch of ducks just went around the corner. Of course, you know, they go out of sight. They're all over to the left there behind the tree line where I can't see them. And then there's the yard dwellers. <laughs> Fresh water. It's much better to be up here. Okay, I gotta go eat. My gut is just killing me. It's telling me to feed myself so that I can last the day here. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Look at this, man. Oh, these ducks. When you've got a, a hot, lazy day, this is the peak of laziness, guys. This duck was actually sleeping. I was washing the dishes, and I looked out, and it had its eyes closed. Man, they're funny. I guess this is what you would call uh, relaxing at the poolside bar. You gotta wonder, like, how much water you need to drink that you need to rest your head in the water. They really like that area down there where the uh, it's really mucky. That's the area you, you cannot walk. Well, you can if you don't mind walking in uh, swamp guck up to your waist. And the ducks are uh, having a lot of fun down there. And then you've got your shade seekers. There was a whole bunch more, but I threw a bunch of eggshells for my breakfast on the lawn and it was a mad dash. And then you got a little Dougie. I'm just going to put my uh, supper in the oven, having a big uh, Muscovy duck for tonight. And then I'm going to come out here and figure the eggs out. I think I've came up with an idea. I'm going to use the, uh, the water uh, station here, slash winter hospital enclosure. In the pen, in the shade. I gotta put a lid on it though because she can jump right out of it. So I gotta go over to uh, behind the garage and get something to uh, cover it. Because we gotta get her better. You just can't have Disco Duck go gimp on us here. I'm gonna soak her again uh, tonight too. I'm gonna do double soaks on her every day. Uh, I think if we just power soak her uh, and whatever is in that foot, you know, if it's bacteria, we'll kill it. And if there's something stuck in there, we'll draw it out with this, uh, the Epsom salt. I know it works. We cured Bumblefoot Duck and what, Broken Wing Duck had a bad foot too, I think. I'm trying to think. I know we had two ducks with problems. All right, let's get uh, this happening and then I can uh, do a recon. I just watched Disco Duck try to jump out of the dog cage. She's trying to fly inside the dog cage. Poor duck. 
She doesn't understand why this is happening to her. Oh, duck, I'm sorry. I'm just blown away how big you are. You're one meaty female. Like, she's massive, guys. She's mad right now, though. Hissing at me. Just, you know, it's, it's just a shame, you know, animals. Sometimes, you know, they know that you're doing something good for them. And, you know, and most of the time, they don't have a clue. Disco, you're going to thank me for this later. Probably not, but hey, I'll thank myself. Okay, I wonder if this will work. Yes, it will. Right on. That should stop her from getting out. And we'll just use these clips. It's still going to be a trick catching her inside of this thing. My gut's telling me I'm going to be redoing it. I got to go look uh, at my grid selection. I'm thinking I got to come up with something else. I got to go put my thinking cap on behind the garage. Came up with a new plan. One that I think is going to be easier for me to control her. Doug, you're being lazy today. Hanging around inside the garage and she keeps trying to jump out of the cage over there. Which is what gave me the idea of changing my plan. Because I need to be able to have that I can walk into her enclosure and corner her to grab her. Because if she has any room to move, that duck is going to be gone or make it impossible for me to catch her. You know, she might be a domesticated duck, but you know, she's free ranged her whole life. She ain't keen on being held. As you can tell, being the duct tape duck, I can't believe I had to duct tape her to, you know, I've, I've wrapped ducks before in towels and, you know, never had to duct tape them. Oh, we got some wicked wind. Which is a really good thing because it means no black flies. It is so nice looking down there, knowing that there is nothing sneaking up to kill my ducks. Man, the Argo, that was such a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think about it last year. Or even the year before, actually. Because I've known my buddies had the Argo, like, well, he bought it in 96. That's how long I've known he's had one. Never even dawned on me. All right, let's get back to the project at hand. She just came back from the barn and I've got the gate closed on the front of the barn. So she's mad. She can't get into the barn. Sorry, duck. She keeps walking over here and quacking at me and then walks away, then walks back. She's one upset woman. She just circled the whole pen. She's so upset. It's too bad we got so much wind right now. I take my hand off my face so you could hear her better. Well, here's what I've come up with for Disco's Hospital. I know that she can't get out of this. And I can easily get in there and catch her. So. I'll throw some straw on the bottom and uh, set some water and uh, food in there and this is going to be her home until we get her fixed. That little Maddie has been giving me an unbelievable show. She's down at the creek right now but she keeps walking around with all the ducks and she's the only duck quacking down there. She is so upset. It's like she's strung out on caffeine, you know, she can't slow down. I don't understand how she can sit on a nest all day and not move, but when she's not sitting on the nest, she's like wired. She's back. 
<laughs> Look how upset she is. <laughs> oh, man. She truly cracks me up. Gate's still closed there, duck. Absolutely too funny. I've got a watering station uh, set up in the center because if I hang water on the side of the grid, the other ducks will drink it on Disco and she'll have no water. So I had to put it inside. She realized the gate was still closed. This crew just came back from the creek. Came in for a snack and then they'll leave. She's going through uh, cold turkey today because I've got the uh, gate closed. Every time I walk by her, she hisses at me. Disco, don't be mad. I'm gonna spray purple stuff on your foot and then I'm gonna put you in your new hospital. I got some deluxe accommodations for you, duck. Oh, the trick is gonna be able to catch you here without getting beaten up. Come on, duck. Come on down here. Come on. Come on. Come on down. I can't reach that far. Come on. Okay, Doug's coming over. <laughs> Dougie. I know, this duck is crazy. Okay, okay you have to get back, Doug. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, duck. Oh man, you're strong. Okay, calm down. Calm down, duck. Oh, moles. Yeah, I know, Doug. She just doesn't cooperate at all. Okay. Okay, I got a slight problem, guys. I got a spray for it. Okay, Doug, get back. Go on, Doug. Doug's really interested in disco. Oh, he's really got bad wind noise right now. Okay, disco, stop moving. Come, spray pump, pump. Yeah, of course, she got it all over me. Okay, no, no, duck. holy moly, you're an uncooperative duck. Absolute worst patient I've ever had. Okay, relax. I think I'm going to have to use the net from now on to catch her because she instantly tried to claw me. She's not happy. But we'll make her better. All right, let's do egg recon. Well, let's get the eggs picked up and load the incubator up with our next smaller hatch. Yeah, I'm going to uh, have to use a, uh, either I'm gonna have to use a net 
or have long sleeve and gloves on because she almost got a good gash on me like it was uh i i was shocked how aggressive she got i should have known though because she was hissing at me and you know disco is usually you know a pretty laid-back duck but you know i think she's got the uh the feistiness of a ruin in her and the strength of a muscovy so uh, that uh, would make sense why she was you know so uh, aggressive yeah, i got a lot of changing around to do this week i gotta get the uh, i don't know if i'm gonna get the hatcher running today if not today tomorrow i'll get it running and then uh I've got to attack the barn because I have to wash the barn out. I need to give it a rinse, get it all ready for the babies. You know, if we can hit 70%, which I, I feel positive on the hatch because the eggs are so thin. Like I, I broke some uh, this morning because I got some double yolkers yesterday and I fried them up this morning for breakfast. Couldn't believe how thin the shells were. Like they just, uh, you would crack them on the edge of the pan the shell almost collapses it's super thin she's back in here like I, I honestly I don't remember the shells ever being this thin actually I don't ever remember them being this thin but they're not eating a lot of pellets. We got two ducks in here. Come on, girls. I'll get Doug in here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, like they're not eating very, like how oh, I'm trying to think here. I'm basically, they're eating a bag of pellets every three days. Then, you know, they're free ranging. So we've got free range, a little bit of corn outside. Okay, we've got another duck in the corner. Oh, my knees just cracked. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh. Like the ducklings, I can't see them having a problem breaking out of the shells. Being this th and, and the thing is, is that the shells, you know, after uh, incubation process, get even more brittle. So if they're thin to start off with, and then they get brittle, they'll shatter. Like the ducklings should explode, literally, actually, out of the shells. Oh, they're upset. I'm gonna get the. Uh, shed set up this week too after i clean the box well, the shed will get set up before the barn's even cleaned because i need the nesting boxes out of the barn in the shed and the girls uh might do some laying for us i might leave them we'll see what our egg situation is i'm uh i'd like to get another huge batch of eggs in the incubator We so need some rain though. It's so dry. Okay, she's back in here and she's mad. And the more she quacks, the more duck follow duck Doug follows her. All he wants to do is smell her. Oh, it's funny.
like this area right here guys there's probably about three four inches of duck poop and it's completely dry right out it's like dirt it's so dry Doug gives up so quick you know like he, he's like you're not gonna let me smell you I'm not following you look at him please let me smell you see because they're quacking and they're all stressed out it's got Doug's uh, attention if they stay quiet like the rest of the ducks in the yard Doug doesn't care but when they get all stressed out like that he has to go over and check them out just sort of like you know when they're you know they're, they're getting raped by the drakes he uh, has to go check it out and break it up and and when they're getting attacked by foxes and coyotes so they don't even realize it. They're like, it's like, like what it's like, it's like they're blowing a rape whistle. And they're wondering why the police are showing up. All right, that's it for eggs. Okay, so let's go and take care of the incubator. I'll give her a soak tonight again. We gotta get her back to normal. Okay, so let's go deal with the incubator. Got a little sidetrack, guys. It's uh, <laughs> it's 5:30. I have, still haven't got in to do the eggs yet. I uh, I tripped on the patio stones by my big hose here on the other side of the house. I said, that's enough. Uh, the frost heaves two years in a row uh, had done havoc, so I lifted all the patio stones up and leveled it out. It was brutal. I, I, I wiped out. I almost did a face plant into the hose holder. So I thought, you know, for workman's comp, I didn't have, I don't have workman's comp here, so the last thing I want to do is get hurt by tripping on some patio stones. So I fixed it. Now I'm going to go do the eggs. Ducks are having a blast down uh, at the swamp. And upset duck, or Maddie I should say. I don't know where she is, but uh, she's completely calmed down because she's not losing it anymore. But the ducks, I mean, basically just either, they're either at the creek uh, swimming or they're uh, playing in the mud down there. Absolutely gorgeous day, nice and windy so there's no black flies. Disco duck has calmed down. I go near her and uh, she isn't hissing at me anymore. All right, well, I'm gonna go and uh, attack the eggs now and load the incubator. Well, I got a little bit confused, but I got to figure it out. So we've got uh, five trays here, 315 eggs. The eggs you see on the windowsill are Muscovy, so I'm not putting them in today because I don't even have enough for a tray. I'm gonna take a chance and just say the Muscovy's up until the next hatch and you know maybe we'll get a full tray, maybe a tray and a half, I don't know. So we're gonna load them in and I got uh, seven uh, goose eggs. And they're due the week of the 18th to the 25th. I wrote the uh, the date, the due date on the eggs so I don't accidentally take them out. We're gonna put the goose eggs in, the duck eggs, and uh, and I'm gonna have my supper. I'm a uh, freaking starved man. And plus the smell of the roasted duck is making me hungry. All right, well, let's load these eggs uh, in the incubator. Well, this'll be a small hatch. It'll get us the in-between to the next big one. And I put stickers on these trays to make sure I don't accidentally mix them up. buzzer what would an incubator be without the infamous alarm I thought I would get out and do a little bit of Argo stuff down the creek but 
my supper's only like 40 minutes away, so I ain't gonna take a chance on being late for supper. I didn't count on redoing my patio stones today, but when I tripped, oh guys, it was so close. I almost whacked my face. I would have, I probably would have ended up splitting the side of my face open. We could have a pretty good haul of geese this year. I just can't believe that there's a, a goose in that egg. That blows me away. And it's rough. Like, I keep thinking it's a duck egg, but it's too rough to be a duck egg. Okay, what is, oh, look at that, eh? That's massive. Crazy stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up and uh, get ready for my supper. It's 9.25 and the ducks are all over the yard. It's so nice out there, they're all over the place. All right, oh, there's Dougie. He's right at the door here. Doug. Okay, he's all wound up. You smell something, Doug? Yeah, he does. Okay, let's get the ducks locked up. Come on, ducks! Come on! Doug, heel. Doug, Doug, heel. Oh, Doug, forget about the squirrel over there. Heel. Come on, ducks! Oh no, they're light. They're using the light to hunt. Oh, they're all, oh, man. These ducks are brutal. If I come out here, I see. Oh, I know what I should. Next time I gotta remember this. I gotta come out and put the camera on manual exposure. Doug, forget it! It's going down the swamp to get muddy. I gotta put the camera on manual exposure and put it on uh, uh, full and then come up with no flashlight because the flashlight seems to uh, get the ducks screwed up. They wanna use it to hunt. Come on, ducks! No, oh, look at these ones. Right. Oh, Dougie's, <laughs> listen to him growling. Something might be here. Okay, ducks, don't go towards the light. Go towards the pen. Come on, let's go. Oh man, this is brutal. And you know, I come out here with the flashlight guys and I, I actually put it on a spot and I use it as a herding stick and it works great. Look at these Muscovies, they're coming back up. Okay, let's turn the flashlight off. Get in. Mosquitoes just found me. Yeah, I gotta try that with the camera on manual exposure and crank it right up. Because when I was candling, I noticed it was a little bit brighter in the room. Might work. I've got it on low lux setting for night, but it's not the best. Okay, Doug, come on. All right, guys, that's it. It's like 9.30 now, and I gotta go to bed. 
I've been up since 5 a.m. Actually, it was before 5 a.m. Doug, come on! I gotta give Doug a shower. I don't see any other ducks around here. Actually, I'm gonna go and take a quick walk just to make sure because the other night I locked them all up. Then I was at the kitchen washing the dishes and I looked up and there was one drinking out of the pool. They were over here sleeping on the side of the house. Okay, I don't see anything. Nothing. Flashlight could be a little bit brighter to get some distance. It works good at, up close, but it doesn't uh, have any uh, range unless I go with spot and then it, you get a, let me just see if I can get the spot to work. It's not the smoothest movement on it. Yeah, even with the spot. When I come out at night, what I do is I put it like that and then I shine it quick on the ground and I use it as a herding stick to get the ducks to go into the pen and it works actually quite well but it seems when I use the flood it lights up the yard and the ducks think it's time to do some extra night, night hunting. Alright, let's give you a shower Doug. And I'm done guys. I'm actually blind now too. Come on Dougie. Oh that light is bright in your eyes. Okay, you got sit. You're not coming in yet. I'm gonna give you a shower. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.